really armed to the teeth. Terrifying sights and sound from Dallas. We continue to follow breaking news from there where snipers went on a rampage killing several police officers. Every minute we are learning new developments from investigators who believe some of the suspects behind this attack could still be on the run. Good morning and thanks for waking up with NBC4 today on this Friday. I'm Matt Barnes. We will get a check of weather at 604, but first, here's what we know about the terror in Texas. The gunfire erupted around 9 p.m. during a demonstration over the recent police shootings in Minnesota and Louisiana. Five officers killed, six others were hurt. Three of the suspected snipers are in police custody. A fourth suspect is dead after a standoff that lasted for hours in a parking garage in downtown Dallas. NBC's Leslie Rangel is following the new developments from Dallas. Peaceful protests in downtown Dallas Thursday night turned violent when authorities say two snipers opened fire on police. People leaving the protest took cover inside a parking garage as suspects fired on police, shooting some in the back in what has been called an ambush style attack. I was walking, yeah. and the sniper just, just started shooting. Yeah. Man, like all of the cops were getting shot, man. I just saw cops bending over. At least 11 officers were shot with multiple fatalities. One civilian was also injured. Three suspects were taken into police custody. One woman inside the parking garage where the shooting began and two other suspects during a traffic stop. In the early morning hours on Friday, officers were involved in negotiations with a fourth suspect who shot at police inside a parking garage. So we are being very careful in our uh, tactics so that we don't injure or put any of our officers in harm's way. Police don't yet have a motive for the shooting and are working to make sure that all suspects have been taken into custody. Mayor Mike Rawlings praised police for their actions. To say that our police officers put their life on the line every day is no hyperbole, ladies and gentlemen. A city on edge this morning as the investigation into the deadly shootings begins. Again, that's Leslie Rango reporting. Now, in case you're just joining us, President Obama responded to the Dallas attack from Poland just minutes ago. He's in Warsaw for a NATO summit. He called the ambush on police officers vicious and calculated. Let's be clear. There's no possible justification for these kinds of attacks or any violence against law enforcement. And the president made those remarks just hours after saying that all Americans should be troubled by the recent police shootings of black men in Minnesota and Louisiana when he landed in Poland just hours ago. Now near Minneapolis on Wednesday night, two policemen pulled over Philando Castillo for a broken taillight. Castillo's girlfriend said an officer shot him when he reached for his wallet. She filmed the aftermath and streamed it live over Facebook. Those images sparked massive demonstrations overnight in big cities like New York and Atlanta. And the day before that shooting, officers in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, shot and killed Alton Sterling during a confrontation outside of a convenience store. We have learned that the officers involved were Blaine Salomone and Howie Lake. According to more than 600 pages of disciplinary records obtained by NBC News, they had five complaints between them, three for use of force. The Department of Justice is now investigating. Here at home, recent officer-involved shootings weigh heavy on the minds of people living in one Central Ohio neighborhood. It was just one month ago, two undercover officers killed a 23-year-old in South Linden. NBC 4th Beth Delpani explains why the videos surfacing on social media have left many there shaken. Beth? Well, Matt, everyone seems to be in agreement this morning on one thing, that something needs to be done. Yesterday, the Columbus Urban League held an emergency meeting in response to these deadly police-involved shootings. For many, they say watching the videos of these shootings on social media has simply been too much. You might recall it was just last month, 23-year-old Henry Green was walking with a friend in the Linden area and was shot and killed by Columbus police after police say he fired at them. Some of Green's family members attended yesterday's emergency meeting. I believe in our law enforcement. I believe in our government, but we have to do better. We have to do better. The community is frustrated. The black community is frustrated. All people who want to see justice and peace, we want to see peace in our community. We're frustrated. 
certainly stay with us because in the next half hour we were he we will hear what Henry Green's parents had to say at that call to action meeting that's coming up again in the next half hour. Reporting in downtown Columbus, Beth Delpani, NBC4. Beth, thank you. I know it's a feeling of many in the community. NBC4 plans to continue to follow the situation in Dallas throughout the morning.